so once you've got the offer and you're planning to come here and you've got a couple of months in hand don't just start randomly applying or randomly upskilling yourself specifically ask them what do you want me to upskill for who do you want me to collaborate with and what specific skills that you want me to enhance having said that sit down with the person make a 30 60 90 days plan and start upskilling yourself the onboarding process once you have joined the office will take time okay there are formalities there are induction programs culture programs the team will also give you access to learn the languages etc so that you can upskill yourself use that well and once you're plugged in with a person who's gonna shadow work with you if it is a technical role or if it's a non-technical role then do not expect him to hover over you and keep taking control and checks on you every two three times a day no they will assign you a task and then they will wait for you to come back to them once they have set the deadline with you if you have managed to complete the task or if you're finding any difficulty you should be vocal go and speak to the respective person who has been allotted to you or the manager etc so that they can understand that this is a problem this is the hindrance you're having because if you keep quiet and expect them to come to you and then again retreat the whole thing it will not leave a good impression you need to be proactive you need to be really on your toes and you need to be independent while you are actually functioning and while you are actually upskilling yourself so yes prepare a 30 60 90 days plan week wise and each week put a milestone and have a checkpoint with the manager that will give a good professional impression about you and that will actually leave an impact on a long term also and you and the manager will be on the same page and not have surprises just keep learning